What's up with everybody? It's your boy Mooka Jones for Radar Sports Base, man. Before we get into this episode, why don't you go over there and subscribe to our playback account as well? We be there live watching the playoff games, man. Go ahead and get your VIP pass as well, right? You won't miss out, man. Every time when we doing a play by play over there and playback, man, entertaining content. So go over there and subscribe to our playback account. Link is on the right corner, man. Um about LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen, right? Uh LeBron James is on the verge of getting swept again. Back to back years in the postseason, right? And this take a hit at his legacy, right? This take a hit at LeBron James' legacy to the point where I don't think he should be a top five player in the league, man. The man is on verge of getting swept like four to five times of his career, right? And then when the expectation was to bring the Lakers at least two championships, he's failed expectations off of multiple rosters have been constructed for LeBron James as well, right? And him being bad and back-to-back -back playoff runs, and he been the real reason why the loss in his Lakers um, didn't even at least get a game against the Denver Nuggets, then I think we got to look at LeBron James and look at him and sit there and say, bro, what's going on? Because if you're willing to sit there and elevate LeBron James, if he would have beat the Denver Nuggets, and he go over there and won a championship and sit there and say that he's closer to Michael Jordan, he's the GOAT, then it's our job to derank him. That is fair, right? But LeBron James, right? LeBron James is a guy where he doesn't have leadership. Um, he doesn't take accountability, right? LeBron James is a a bad person on the basketball court. He, he's a selfish guy as well, right? And the fact of the matter that he is making excuses on how his team consistently get beat by the Denver Nuggets by one guy, Nikola Jokic, right? And the Denver Nuggets as well, right? And you not be able to lead and do everything you can for his team to win then i think that's a problem right and if you fast forward right into game two right where lebron james missed a go-ahead potential game winner shot right and he was getting his, he was getting cooked by jamal murray in the fourth quarter within the last what minute ago when it got in a basketball game bro right he sat there and made excuses about the refereeing and the replay calls and stuff like that right so I also came out there and blast LeBron James because it seemed like he want to scapegoat everybody and sit there and put the blame on everybody and refereeing and the, the replay center. And I don't know why he hasn't gotten fined for that. I don't know why the NBA hasn't fined LeBron James for sitting there calling out the refereeing and the replay and stuff like that. But when it's everybody else, right, they sit there and give them a fine as well. But I don't know why the NBA they give LeBron James a fine for sitting there calling out the referees and the replaying calls and stuff like that. That is just crazy to me in my opinion, right? But instead of sitting there saying, you know what, I messed up. I, I didn't know how to ice the screen. I didn't know how to, I gave Le Jamal Murray so much airspace to score in the mid-range. I didn't know how to defend without fouling. I was not getting interior rebounds. I was just standing there as well. He want to sit there and blame on the replay calling, right? And blame on the refereeing on why his team lost and why he didn't show up in the last uh, minute to go in the goddamn basketball court in the fourth quarter in the game two, right? But he don't want to acknowledge that his team had a 520 free throw differential with other teams, right? He don't want to acknowledge that. He just want to sit there and change the narrative. This is why you can't trust a fraud guy lebron james he is overrated right then in the game three last night chat we watched the game we was on playback watching the game as well right this man lebron james was the worst basketball player on the court for the los angeles lakers and i'm not even over jazz right bro because the Denver nuggets was running that same step bro inverted pick and rolls dribble handoff getting Jokic at the middle of the paint and LeBron James had one job, is to take away the dunker spot, provide the back line help, and Aaron Gordon was cooking him every single time. His off-ball defense had been atrocious throughout the entire series, bro. He don't even box out and get rebounds. He don't even know how to provide back line help. His off-ball defense was atrocious and was terrible as well, bro. But what do LeBron fans sit there and do? They sit there and want to blame Darvin Hill. They sit there and want to blame D'Lo and not give LeBron James the blame 
a guy that y'all sit there and think that he's a top 10 player in this league, a guy that y'all sit there and say going into this postseason, he's a top five playoff performer going into this postseason as well. And LeBron James has been terrible. He's been a complete no-show throughout the entirety of the goddamn series. Anthony Davis has played better than LeBron James throughout the entirety of the series, right? So what pissed me off is when LeBron James, after the loss in Game 3, how terrible he played, how he scored only eight points in the second half of the game. He came out there and said this. I don't know. Um, but this is the postseason. We've been, me and this guy, been playing together for six years. We've been to the mountaintop. We've been close to the mountaintop. We've played a lot of games. We, we know what it takes to win. We know what it takes to win a championship and how, you know, Damn it, near perfect you got to be. It's, that's not like something that's so crazy to obtain. I've, I've been a part of it four times where you have to have almost perfect basketball to win, you know, and I've done it with him. So I'm, the, I'm, I'm not a guy that you should ask that because I don't feel a way about anybody that don't want to strive to be as close to perfect as possible. And it's just basketball. At the end of the day, it's just basketball. And this is who y'all sit there and say that is the second greatest basketball player of all time and have the conversation of being the GOAT debate? This is who y'all prop up? A guy when everything goes wrong, a guy when, when he gets beat and gets destroyed and he underperforms the series, he sit there and want to deflect, point the finger, Blame his teammates, blame his coaches as well, blame the refereeing, blame everything, and sit there and say, I did not show up this series, bro. This man, LeBron James, is a fraud. He is a fraud. You want to sit there and say, it's just basketball, but yet, you over there, when you won the in-season tournament back in December, you that you over there in the uh, locker room, popping champagne, throwing uh, um, um, alcohol parties and everything, bro. You throwing champagne, celebrating, right? One of the end season tournament championship, right? You sat there crying and, and celebrating and kiki and kaka and all that other stuff, right? When you broke the uh, records and stuff like that, you sitting there acting like you want to cry and stuff like that. Man, this man LeBron James is a fraud. Please stop putting him on, on a level of Kobe, MJ, Duncan. Please stop putting him on his all-time level as well bro because when those guys get beat they sit there and come out there and accept accountability they sit there and say you know what i messed up bro i gotta be better bro i gotta make my teammates better something that the media sit there and lie that lebron james make his teammates better bro right not sit there and point the finger bro this man lebron james is on the verge of getting beat back to back years bro back to back years he has lost 10 straight games to the Denver Nuggets, bro. This man, LeBron James, has lost six consecutive playoff games against the Denver Nuggets, bro. That's the longest he has in his playoff career, ladies and gentlemen, bro. And not only he's doing that, but he's playing atrocious. He's playing bad as well, bro. So at the end of the day, how LeBron James been bad defensively, how he's been turned over the ball, how in the, in, the in, the, in the second half of the game he's been a complete no-show, how he hasn't even given his best player and his best scoring option, Anthony Davis, touches as well. This man, Anthony Davis, got to combine four field goal attempts in the last fourth quarters because you got LeBron James ball hawking, trying to stat pad and sit there and say, I got my 25 and I got my 26, right? And he literally, you know, sucks the life off of offense because he is a black hole offensively and don't have no portability off as well we could have we could provide the off ball value we could get other guys involved as well bro this man Nikola Jokic is smarter he's a better offensive player than LeBron James he's a superior player than LeBron James as well bro and LeBron James has not once showed in a full game where he could be great offensively defensively for his team bro and be able to do it for a full stretches of a game he cannot do that no more and that's why I said you understand put quit putting him in these conversations, bro. He's not a top 10 player. He's not a top 5 player performing right now, bro. And at the end of the day, bro, you, this man LeBron James is just, he just, he just fought. He fought. This man sit there and blaming refereeing, pointing the finger. Bro, the Lakers locker room is dysfunctional, bro. They are the dysfunctional locker room, bro.
This this loss right here in game two where you're up 20 points. This man, LeBron James, was up 20 points in the game two. He was up 10 points in the game three as well. Up a double digits in the game three as well. Again, that man, that man, LeBron James, has blown back to back double digit lead because he's a complete no show in a game in a, in, a, in a game two and a game three, bro. Where is the accountability at, bro? Where is the accountability for LeBron James, bro? He does not have no GOAT debate. Please stop putting him in the top two, top three conversation as well, bro. This man, LeBron James, has let the Laker fans down. He He's delusional, bro. And at the end of the day, this takes a hit at his legacy, bro. This take a hit at LeBron James' legacy, ladies and gentlemen. He's done. LeBron James is done, bro. Get him out of the league. The Lakers need to. He has hold this Lakers organization hostage. He hasn't delivered to his promise to the Los Angeles Lakers as well, bro. This man is sad. This man, LeBron James, is sad, chat. He's sad. I I cringe when they make these goat debates. I cringe when they make these goat comparisons because he's not close. He's not even close. He's done. Get LeBron James out of here, man. That's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy Mookie Jones. I'm out.